been a few years since my last video and I just I had a great idea I wanted to encourage those who didn't have a space to sew in so a few years ago my two boys they were sharing our master bedroom and my husband and I were sleeping in another bedroom and so I set up the third bedroom as my sewing room and that's actually where I took the last video that I did but my boys are 13 and 11 now so they kind of need their own space so we reoccupied our master bedroom and gave each of the boys their own room which gave me no space for sewing but I got a little creative and um, is I don't know it's not ideal but it's cozy and it's dedicated and this is my little sewing nook um, we have a laundry room and there's this alcove that used to be for um, like a, a stand-up freezer or something like that and um, we moved the freezer that we did have to the garage so that I could sew back here and I painted the walls white as you can see and I'll take you on a little tour so um, as you can see it's very simple um, this is actually a door to our garage and then you come around here and I painted the walls white just because it's aesthetically pleasing and it was that wood color over there um, my laundry room is an absolute wreck but I try to keep this area really clean because it helps with creative flow so I have my sewing machine as you can see right there and a mat and this is just an antique table and it just fit perfectly in this little alcove here and okay this is crazy and surely I'm not the only one who does this but I got these two shelves this white shelf and this brown shelf off of the side of the road yes I know I scavenged for for garbage but um they're perfect and so I have some little organization bins right here. I have three red ones. I have um, yarn, thread over here. I have elastic and ribbon in here. And this is my travel basket. So if I want to move my sewing machine to the dining room for the evening because I'm back here all by myself and it gets lonely. So sometimes I like to bring my sewing machine to the dining room. And I will use this basket and put everything that I need in there and then just bring it with me. And so this is where I organize all of my tools. As you can see, I, I've labeled all of them, right? And these two baskets down here, um, this is for random charm packs. And that back there is for um, my semi-current um, projects. And so up here, there's not even a light up here, see? So I have these two desk lamps, and I've clipped them to that board and those baskets are supposed to be organized by color but they're not at the moment but that's where I keep my fabrics I've got three up there and I've got two down here and this is also like if I'm going to someone's home to sew then I will use that um, we do have central AC in the house but it does get warmer back here in the summertime and colder in the wintertime so I have a fan and I have a, a heater also, but it's not in here. My bearded dragon is borrowing it right now. And um, I do have, I keep my iron up there. And okay, so this little thing right here is for business cards. But I put my cell phone on it so I can watch Netflix while I'm sewing. And it's fun. It's nice. Um, also, I hang what I can on the wall. So I have my templates up here and I've got another cutting mat right there and I also keep usually my cutting rulers. It's not ideal, it's very tiny, but it's enough for me to have a dedicated space and it's very nice and cozy back here. My boys try to take over sometimes and they come back here and they like to do their homework because it's really quiet and um, I don't like that. I'm like, no, that's my space. I gave up. I gave up my sewing space so you could have your own space go to your room <laughs> and um but it just if you need a sewing place a dedicated sewing place then maybe 
look outside the box. You know, maybe you have a hall closet that you could use. Um, also, I do, like if I have a larger project, I will bring it to the dining room and like my quilts. Um, in my last video, I said that I did my quilts on a, on a mattress on the wall. Um, I don't have that mattress anymore, so I usually just do it on the dining room table, which is actually a lot easier than that mattress was. Um, I, I seem to be able to get them a lot flatter and it's, it's really nice. I love it. Um, but it's not a permanent thing. My husband is like, no, your stuff has been out for long enough. Bring it back to your hole. So, so that's what I do. And I just wanted to encourage y'all and show you my sewing space. So I hope you enjoy it and, um, leave any comments or questions below.